Hi everyone, it's Ruby and Bailey and welcome back to our channel. Today in this video we're going to be doing an online Christmas shopping challenge where we're going to be buying each other Christmas gifts. So this is part one of a two-part Christmas shopping special. And this week we're going to be doing the no budget shopping part. And we will be uploading part two next Thursday, which is Christmas Eve at 5 p.m. And in that video, we're going to be doing a Christmas gift swap where we will be exchanging and opening the gifts that we've got for each other. I'm really excited. <laughs> Before we get started, we want to thank you all so much for your lovely comments and support on our last three Christmas DIY videos. And if you haven't seen them already, then make sure to click this link to go to them. And thank you so, so much to everyone who has supported us on our product collection. And for all your nice feedback, it really means a lot. Some of you may have noticed that we're both wearing our Christmas jumpers from last video. And from your request, we have actually put these digitally onto our shop. So if you want to buy these, then go check them out. So let's get on with the shopping challenge. How this challenge is going to work is we're going to have eight different rounds. So all together, we will be buying 16 items. We've each been given four cards, which we'll write themes on that will then dictate what we decide to buy for that round. And there are three simple rules to the challenge. Rule number one is that we've got to shop Christmas gifts for each other. Rule number two, we can only give out the categories for items and not the actual item that we want to buy. Rule number three, we can't tell each other what we've bought until the gift exchange. We're gonna do rock, paper, scissors now. Rock, paper, scissors. Yes! yes. I won. I, I feel like it's, I don't know, you used to always win, I don't, you don't anymore. Yeah, we go through phases of it. So I have the first shopping card and I, I have an idea of what I want, but I'm not really sure. I think you have a lot more of this than I do. Oh, uh, can you just turn your head? I have to lay it on Candles. Me. Thank you. Footwear. Footwear. Oh, okay. I, I thought of it. I was like, that sounds like quite a good one. Start off with. There's actually some shoes that I really want, but I don't know if you know. There you are, and I can't tell you. <laughs> so this first round is footwear, and I have a really good idea for this because I'm not sure if anyone will remember, but a few videos ago, Ruby bought me some shoes, and she bought me some Nike trainers. And since that video, every time I've worn those shoes, Ruby's commented on them. I think they'll be on Amazon, so that's why I'm looking for Nike trainers. The ones I've got were in grey. I'm currently looking through Amazon at all of the shoes and trying to find them. I think I've got them. So, the ones that I found are Nike Women's Tangent Sneakers. They're on Amazon, they're about 50 pounds, and they're grey, like mine. So I think that's what I'm gonna get her, just because I know she likes them. I don't wanna mess around with colours too much because I know she likes these ones. So, that's the basket, and bye. Okay, so that's Ruby's first gift done, and I think she's gonna love them. Okay, so now I am going to buy Rayleigh some footwear and the reason I actually chose this is because Rayleigh has been using my fluffy socks for so long recently. She keeps taking them from me and I don't think she has any because she keeps taking them. And her slippers the other day as well broke. When I thought about footwear, I was gonna get her some like trainers or shoes. But, like she's already got loads of footwear. I got her trainers in the last shopping video. She has DMs, which are the boots, and she has quite a few other trainers and like Converse's. But I am gonna try and find some like grippy, like fluffy socks. I feel like that's the sort of thing that's a mix between slippers and fluffy socks. I'm gonna search up fluffy socks. Oh wait, no. I wanna search up grips. Ripped ones. <gasps> Whoa! I searched up grip fluffy socks and I came across these and they look like really comfy. It's basically slipper so socks and they're purple and they're actually really nice. That's a really nice Christmas present. I think I'm gonna get this. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in my basket now. So let's go pick the next shopping card and it's now really time. I'm done. 
Yay. Oh, is it my turn next? Yeah. Okay, so we've both just picked our footwear yeah. from last round, I think. I'm excited to show you. I think you're gonna like them. I hope you like them. I, I hope you appreciate them for a reason. <laughs> I actually know you're gonna like mine, but you'll find out why. Anyway, now it's my turn to pick, and I actually know what I'm gonna pick for this one because I do it quite almost every video. Okay, you're gonna have to show your eyes though. There you go. Thanks. Ooh, room decor. Room decor. I wouldn't expect anything less. On the subject of rooms, we know you're all still asking about what we're doing for our rooms. And we are going to get that video to you, but we are still doing our rooms up. And the video should be here by the new year. Yes. I have got already an idea for this. So basically, in Ruby's bedroom, She's obviously redoing it just like I'm doing with mine. And she really, really wants a tapestry. She's kind of doing her room in the theme of like, kind of retro-y, kind of beachy. So I'm gonna look up some keywords and then see what comes up first. And I'm gonna look on eBay for this one, not Amazon. Okay, I think I found something. Whoa, it's not expensive. If you are looking for room decor stuff, Amazon, eBay, and Etsy are really good places to go. A lot of my room came from those places. This one is really nice. So this is titled Bo Boho Indian Tapestry Wall Hanging Mandala Bedspread Throw Cover Blanket CB. So um, it's multiple things. But yeah, I think Ruby's gonna really like that. So I'm gonna get her the smaller one because her room is a bit on the small side. And then I'm gonna buy one, which is seven pounds 85. Yeah. Done. She's gonna love this one. We're back in my room now. Ravi has been talking about getting something called macrame. I know she wants some wall hanging, so I'm gonna have a look at that and see what I can find. I'm gonna have a look on Amazon. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Oh my gosh. Straight away when I went on this, I've seen like a bunch that all look the same. They're all like that and then down like that. But then I've seen this one, which is like a moon and then goes down. It's got lights in it. That's so nice. Really likes like cos cosmic things, if you like understand what I mean. She likes hangings and this actually looks really nice. So I think I'm gonna get her this because it's kind of like galaxy, if you get me. So I'm gonna add to back it. So let's go back to Rudy's room for round number three. Now my turn to pick the category and I already knew what I wanna pick. Yeah. <laughs> turn around. I'm really, I'm really really excited. Ready? Thank you. Food, candy or chocolate? I thought you weren't allowed to specify. I wanted to write candy or chocolate and I just wrote food and I was like, oh no, I wrote food. So I meant candy, like sweet Fair stuff. Enough. Yeah, okay, so sweet food. Yeah, I was just like Not an like example. a carrot. No. Right, okay, goodbye. I'm taking the teddy with me. This is relatively easy for me because Ruby loves sweet stuff and she particularly loves trying American candies. So that's what I'm gonna look up. American candy box. There's this company called Sugar Box and it looks like they just, well, they sell everything. Mystery boxes. Okay, well that's what I'm getting. I'm gonna be getting the American candy mystery box because you can get like Japanese ones and other ones, but really particularly likes American candy and I'm gonna get the cheapest one. Okay. I'm excited for this. I feel like I can't really go wrong. I don't really know what to do for this round. So I know that Ray loves dairy milk chocolate. Her favorite is fruit and nut. I might put that for her, but I feel like it's a bit boring. I wanna try and find something cool for it. Oh, that's very expensive to get on Amazon for a bar of chocolate. Okay, so my mum just gave me a really good idea to make Rayleigh a chocolate wreath. I actually did this last Christmas, I think it was, last year, and it turned out so good. I'm really excited to do this, and we actually have some dairy milk chocolate downstairs, which I can use for it. So I've just been downstairs, and my mum has actually been stocking up for Christmas some chocolate. So we have some flakes, and twirls, and dairy milk, and fruit and not dairy milk, which is actually Rayleigh's really favourites. And we have a little wreath, which we're going to put it on. My mum gave me two. I might make a flake and dairy milk one, but you'll see this in the final reveal. And if you want to see how to make one, then click here to the video. So we are both back in Rayleigh's room now, and I think you're going to 
love life. You're gonna like life, what you? You're gonna be excited by it. Okay, so now you got to choose a category. I'm excited. Here you go. Guess what you think it is? Tell me in your eyes. We'll see. Ha! I think it's her. <gasps> I'm right! Whoa! Wait, actually, I'm. Oh! Psychic. Yeah, I put star. I'm excited for this because I have an idea of what I want to get. Go on. Bye. <laughs> I've got a really good idea for this one because Ruby is always making hair masks. The most common thing she makes hair masks from are like yogurt and honey. Honey hair mask. <gasps> this one's nice. So this one's seven pounds. It says Bomb Cosmetics Honey Hair Mask and the packaging's really pretty. Whoa, it looks like a butter tray. Okay, that's what I'm gonna get her. I just tried to check that mask and it wasn't in, so... Now I'm looking for something else. Oh, they have mango and vanilla. Is this one in? Yeah, this one's in. Got it. Perfect. I'm excited to smell it. So now you're back to me, and I know that Rayleigh is like eco things quite a lot, like non-plastic, and she's into quite a lot of pollution and all that. I actually recently came across like shampoo bars, and they're like soap bars but they don't have packaging or anything and then they don't have plastic in them so they're eco-friendly. So I think I'm just gonna search up shampoo bars. There's these eco shampoo bars and this is an eco warrior one, but it's ginger flavored and it has five stars. Definitely recommend it then. But I don't think Rayleigh really likes ginger essential oils and orange, that sort of thing. I think I wanna get her more of a plain one, if you get me. Okay, so I just found this place and it's called Bomb. And this is an on sleek solid conditioner bar and there's also a shampoo one. So there's mermaid hair shampoo bar, lovers in the air, and there's a back to the root shampoo bar, which I think I'm gonna get Rayleigh. So I think I'm gonna get her the back to the root shampoo bar and an on sleek solid conditioner. Add the bag. On to round five. We're back. And I actually think what I got you for the hair round, you're gonna actually really like. I'm excited to see because I, I feel like we'll have gone different ways about it. Yeah, so do I. I, I don't know. You could really go for anything, couldn't you? On there's like yeah. a lot of different things. You could give me hair extensions. Hair Which down. I'm telling you now, so I don't get your hopes. So I did not get you. My time now to choose, and I have an idea of what I want. Because okay, I just I need it. I don't need it, but I want it. Fancy. Here you go. Thank you. Pamper. So mm -hmm. care. Yeah, like um self care hair type of thing. Okay. I know exactly what I'm gonna get for you. I have an idea. I think I know actually. I okay. think I've been talking about it a lot. Okay. I know what I'm gonna get you. I know exactly what I'm gonna get her. Ruby spoke about this a few times. It's one of these, so when people do skincare, there are these like face rollers that you can get and you can make them cold. And I think they're meant to like define your bone structure or cool your face. Either way, they're pretty fun. So I think I'm gonna look up face roller. I keep noticing what they're doing with these is they're always crystals. So there's rose quartz and there's jade. There's also amethyst, but they're all crystals, which I think is quite funny. So what I'm thinking is I should get a jade one for her because that's like luck. I'm going to look for the cheapest one with the best reviews. So I found one, it's Jade Roller Anti-Aging Neck, ma Neck Massage Tool Natural Green Slimming Massager. It looks pretty snazzy. There are 2,405 reviews and it's four and a half stars. So I'm gonna add that to my basket and I'm gonna buy it. Done. For me, I I have quite a good idea of what I think Ray's gonna get me. I have been going on non-stop about this thing and I'm not gonna say what it is, but I'll tell you if it's right at the end. I really loves getting like clay masks. I think I'm gonna get one of them because that's the last thing that comes from mine, like face masks. Okay, we're gonna start shop clay masks. Oh, there's a L'Oreal one. There's a blue one, a pink one, a grey one. And I found this green one, which I think is really nice, like a mint colour. And it's the Pure Clay Pur Purity Mask. Can you guess what it does? It purifies and mattifies. I don't really know what that means, but this one looks the most, it looks like looks the most clay one, if you get me. Yeah, I think we need to get this for Rayleigh, because it's only £5.33, and it's actually quite big. 
Okay, I've just added it to the bag and now on to number six. So let's go back and read his room. Next round is my choice. I know what I want to pick for this one actually. I've oh. got an idea in my I feel like we always think about it. Yeah. Doing it. And we have three rounds left. I'm gonna do a really wide. Yay! Okay. Face. <laughs> face. That's very. Not very. Broad spectrum. Yeah. I don't know, I'm getting you. I don't. So, I know what I want to get her already. A few Christmases ago, maybe like five, I remember EOS's and Shopkins were just trending so much. Ruby and me haven't got over that trend. So, I'm going to be getting her that EOS. <gasps> Oh, okay, there are loads of different colors. I think I want to get the blue. This one is 100% natural organic sweet mint. Mwah. Whoa, okay, yeah, I want to get this one. Add to basket. Woo! <laughs> Basically, for this round, it's face, but I was thinking about getting her some face makeup. And recently, I've noticed I've really started wearing more nude colors, like nude eyeshadow and like nude lips. So I think I'm gonna try and find some sort of nude, <laughs> nude makeup. Okay, so nude. Why did it just come up with a doll? <laughs> so to get to the nude makeup, I had to actually go on beauty. Ooh, there's some really nice stuff here. So there's like a best pro eyeshadow palette. And there's a portable color changing foundation. Okay, so I just got on, I was looking through it, and I went on to this. It's a Bare Minerals, and I've heard of this, and it's actually quite expensive, it's 14 pounds. Look how nice this is. So there is a powder blush, and a lip lacquer. Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna get her this. As a little treat, adding to basket. And now we're on to round seven. So, this is actually the second to last round that I'm picking, and I'm actually not sure this round. Close your eyes. I know. Top. So we're gonna be getting tops. Yay! <laughs> Woo! My idea for this round comes from the fact that Ruby is always taking my clothes. And not just my clothes, she'll take my dad's clothes as well. Not necessarily my mum's, because my mum doesn't have many oversized t-shirts. But Ruby's just always taking our big t-shirts. So what I'm thinking is I'm just gonna get her a t-shirt that I would own. And I have a lot of M&M t-shirts. I am gonna go on Amazon and I'm gonna look for big t-shirts. I think I'm gonna specifically look for M&M ones. Okay. I found one that I think is quite cool. Eminem men's arrest short sleeve t-shirt. It's pretty fun, pretty cool. And I think I'll get it in an oversized kind of size purse, so large. Got it, it's in my basket. I'm gonna buy it. For this, I actually have quite a good idea of what I wanna get Rayleigh. So I wanna go on Zaffle because that is a clothes brand and place that we both like to shop at. And we're looking for a t-shirt because she does wear a lot of t-shirts. And I'm gonna search up like, T-shirts. There's some really nice shirts here, actually. <gasps> I love that shirt. The, oh my gosh, it's like a dragon. I just found this one, and as I told you, it really loves like suns, galaxy stuff. So, I found this like sun one, which says future is in your hands. I think I'm going to get her this because it's so nice. I'm gonna get her in gray, even if you get it in white and yellow. So, that's a bag. And now we're on to the last round, so let's go. Next round. This is the last round and I'm picking for this one. So I already know what I'm gonna pick. I get space to think about it. Yeah. I like this pen. I ran out of space. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Hobbies. Well like, whatever you're interested in, just buy something for them. Oh, 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 I know. So like, do you remember last video or one of the last shopping videos where I got you a tennis skirt? Oh yeah, hobbies. And I know exactly what I'm gonna get you for this. Exactly, I've got it right in my head. 
last time we filmed one of these videos, I got Ruby something for one of her hobbies, which is tennis, and I bought a tennis skirt. But this time, I really want to get her something for netball. What I think I'm gonna get her is a netball, because she doesn't have one, and she's really interested in the sport. So I've looked up netball on Amazon. There are some really pretty ones. Like, there are genuinely some that make me want to do it. There are some that remind me of school PE. I don't know much about the balls, so I'm gonna look at some reviews. Okay. I found one. It's blue. It's like an electric blue and it's got pink kind of, it looks a bit like lightning bolts actually. It's a size 5, if that means anything to anyone. Mitra attack training netball. And I'm also going to get her a pump for it. I don't think I need to be too fancy about that. I'll get her the same brand for the pump. It's a Mitra high speed inflatable pump in grey. That's my final round done. Now you're on to me and this is the final round. Obviously Ray does do dancing but she already has everything she needs for that. So actually I think I'm going to get her something for art because she's actually doing GCSE art and she likes doing art in her spare time as well so it is a hobby. So I think I'm going to search up like watercolours. Obviously we have loads of acrylic paints. We don't actually have like watercolour set though so I'm just searching watercolour paints on Amazon. So there is actually so many here. So I just found this one and it's really good with money wise and it's a travel kit and it's really really nice it's got loads of different colors and it's got really good reviews as well it's five star rating okay so i'm gonna buy her this one because it's really good price and the colors are really nice so i'm gonna buy her that so add to basket it's showing me different things at the bottom saying that you need like special paper and a paintbrush it actually says here that i should buy her some paintbrushes and special paper for it so i'm not going to show you on camera because there's no not really need but you'll see it in the final reveal which is next week's video so that is all our shopping done now i'm very excited to show you what i've got you same i'm so excited to give you your presents and to see what you got me so we're going to wait for all of our gifts to arrive then we're going to wrap them up and give them to each other which will be in our next video on christmas eve next thursday at 5 p.m so make sure to tune in so that's the end of our video we really hope you've enjoyed it and we hope it's given you an insight into what to get other people for christmas or maybe what to ask for if you haven't already we have two shout outs for this video shout out number one goes to how who thank you so so much for commenting on the community page for being really positive and we really hope you're enjoying our videos the second shout out goes to sophie as well thank you so much for subscribing to us and for commenting on the community page. We can't end this video without thanking our notification squad and early school. We love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you've enjoyed. See you all on Christmas Eve at 5 p.m. on Thursday. We love you. Bye. There are some shoes I actually really want to get. Oh wait, I'm buying <laughs> for you. <laughs> I don't know how to spell chic, so I'm gonna give it a few tries. Kind of cosmetic things. That's not it. Cos cosmo things. <laughs> <laughs>